country's in a shambles from corruption and war.
America, you were founded on the backs of immigrants. From the founding of this nation to this very day, it's been immigrants who have built this country. Today we fly our American flags and we say, America, I love you. I want you to be all that you hold yourself out to be. Make no mistake, I'm proud that I'm the son of an immigrant. I'm proud that my father and my grandfather came here from Mexico. To work! To work! To work! But they came here to America for a better life. And they've worked hard, like you have worked hard. And today, we're here today to say, I'm here today to say, as the mayor of the second largest city in America, that America can do right by its immigrants, by acknowledging the fact that they pay their taxes, they work hard, they play by the rules, their kids are in this country. And we support, and we support comprehensive immigration reform that takes that into account. Today, we wave our flags, because make no mistake about it, every one of us here understand it's not about the old country, it's not about Mexico or El Salvador or Korea or Vietnam. Our kids are here. Their future's here. We pay taxes here. We work hard here. We want a better life here. And we're here to say to the Congress, it's time. Today the Cardinal, the Cardinal, the Church, all of the churches, the rabbis, the Catholic Church, the invalid Evangelical Church, the union leaders, all of us are here together to say one thing, that this Congress has a responsibility to acknowledge the fact that we work hard, that we built this country from the, its founding, and that today we say to the Congress, we want immigration reform that acknowledges that we can secure our borders, enforce our immigration laws, and create a pathway for citizenship for us and our children. Okay. I'm here to say, I'm here to say that my proudest moment, my proudest moment as mayor of the city of Los Angeles was to greet the 500,000 people who came here and marched in peace. There are those who say, stay away from the immigration debate, Mayor Villarragosa, and I say to them, how dare you? How dare you? I know, I know where I come from. I know who you are. I've worked with you. I've seen you build this city and this state and this country. And all we're saying is, let us enjoy the American dream. So fly your flags, everybody. Let the world see. Let the nation see who we are. We work hard. We play by the rules. Si se puede. 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 Si se Estoy aquí hoy, estoy aquí hoy como el alcalde de la segunda ciudad más grande en los Estados Unidos. ¡Viva nuestra líder! Una ciudad construida por, los, por el trabajo y sobre los hombros de los trabajadores inmigrantes. Aquí estamos con los hoteleros, con los cocineros, con los conserjes, con los trabajadores que hacen la riqueza aquí en Los Ángeles. Aquí estamos con nuestras banderas americanos diciendo a este gran país de América que queremos gozar lo que es el sueño americano, que pagamos nuestros impuestos, trabajamos duro, queremos que nuestros niños puedan gozar este sueño. Aquí, hoy, aquí en Los Ángeles, en las ciudades por toda la nación, decimos al Congreso que podemos hacer algo para enforzar nuestros leyes migratorios, para asegurar que la frontera está segura, pero that's building and building across racial and ethnic lines. 
across religious lines, committed to the idea that in America, a great America, that to those who say America, love it or leave it, we say, America, I love you and I want you to be all that you held yourself out to be. We say, we say America, we're staying here because we work hard, we play by the rules, we want to participate in this American dream. So thank you. Thank you for honoring America and the best tradition of America. Democratic, peaceful, together, united, saying to the Congress, listen to us. We work hard. We play by the rules. Acknowledge our existence. We want to come. And isn't it beautiful? Just a few minutes ago, the clouds were over above. And now the sunshine is here. She's a brother! 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 The debate before us is one of fairness and equal opportunity to become a part of the American dream. Many have faced the same struggle before. One of, one of the discussions concerning immigration before us is to build a 700 mile wall on the border of this nation. Walls to protect, they say. It is, a stra it is strange. The nation that is built on immigration now has made a choice to build a wall to leave others out. But this is not the first time that America has made a choice to build walls. Black Americans have faced walls before. Walls of segregation, walls of discrimination, walls of poverty, walls of slavery, legal walls that allow one man to own another man. Blacks of America who were born with full citizenship were faced with unfair and unjust laws. Dr. Martin Luther King stated, wherever there are unjust laws, we have a just right to challenge them. That's right! Walls, walls that would not allow my mother the right to live in a certain community. Walls that would not allow my brothers and sisters to attend certain schools. Walls that would not allow access to higher education. Legal walls that would not allow my father to eat in a restaurant or to sleep in a hotel. President Ronald Reagan told Germany to tear down this wall. We in America, are about the business of attempting to build walls. Walls are more than brick and mortar. They divide families. They divide us from opportunities. Walls are the breeding ground for fear and confusion. Walls psychologically and emotionally damage young people. When we have asked others to tear down their walls, we cannot build physical or psychological walls in this nation. Yeah. We must find a way to bring access to the American dream, fair and just. For everyone, fight on, everyone. fight on, fight on, fight on. Don't stand. Plan to walk together our journey of faith of the Stations of the Cross only because we are interfaith, Jewish and Muslim and Buddhist and Christian and Protestant and Catholic, instead we are calling it the stations of suffering and hope of immigrants. Because immigrants come from all religions and all over the world, but we all suffer the same pain and we all share the same dreams. Children. And
and the children of immigrants. Different sufferings, same hopes, same dreams. Ya vamos a escuchar a las historias personales de inmigrantes. A moment of silence to begin our first station to talk about the future. Para hablar sobre el futuro, primera estación. I want to call two students, Cynthia Contreras and Eunice Lee. Dos estudiantes, dos jóvenes, Cynthia Contreras y Eunice Lee. Fairfax High School and I'm a part of Cherno Wise Up. I came to this country with my family when I was only two years old. We came because of medical needs. My sister, my older sister needed urgent care that was not available in our home country. We came because of necessity, just like many other families come because they need to, not just because it's a choice. I didn't choose to come here but I've been here since I was two years old. I identify myself Mexican-American. Uh, as many other students that I know, like they came here because they came with their family. They didn't choose to come here, but they have made their whole life here. I have made everything here. I have never gone back. I can't see myself anywhere else but here and I don't plan to move. I don't know how they just expect us to pick up our things and leave. My family did that when they moved to the United States and it wasn't anything easily. They had to adapt themselves which was not an easy progress and as myself I also had to adapt. Uh, I got involved because I saw how so many people were being affected. As I got older, I saw that my family was being really affected by the fact that my sisters didn't know what they were gonna do after high school. Education is such an important part of the future. If we don't have that, we have pretty much no future. is a dream that I had since I was a young girl and I didn't want to be deprived of that. So that's why I decided to join WISE UP. Since 2001, they have been teaching the youth how they can advance their rights. And so students around the nation have been walking out to show that we do care. We're not just people that you can push to the side and think we're not thinking about the future. We are the future. Walkouts are important because they show that the students don't just want to sit and learn about history. We want to make it. So this is just the beginning of positive change for our communities. I mean, that's what we live for. Dream, that's life. When I first came to this country called America, I was nine. My family and I moved here to experience new things and have a new life. A new life with a good education for everyone. I believe that education is the best thing anyone can have. With lack of English skills, I attended Bellagio Newcomer School. This is a school for students who just came to America. Because there were students who were in the same position as me, I didn't feel awkward at all. We talked about our favorite colors, our favorite food, and most importantly, our dreams. We all came here with big dreams of achieving success, but unfortunately, not everyone is blessed with this opportunity. Some of my, cl some of my classmates were undocumented. Because of that, they felt discouraged and without much hope for the future. They began not doing well in school and dropping out. 
it affects me to see a lot of students like that take the road because they feel like they don't have any other choices. It affects me because I am their friend and an immigrant also. But we all need to know that it's not over yet. We have hope and the DREAM Act. We have opportunities. With the DREAM Act, we can open a new road for the students who are in this situation. It revives hope, it revives lives, and it revives them. DREAM Act allows students to dream. It allows students to achieve their dreams. And last of all, it allows students to live and succeed. I still want to talk to my friends about our favorite colors, our favorite food, and our dreams. In this place the adults call the land of opportunities, I believe that students should be included to experience these opportunities. Thank you. America is the immigrant's home. We have to claim it because we want to claim prosperity and we want to claim hope. We are not people of optimism, but we are people of hope. I am an immigrant, not an illegal immigrant, not an undocumented immigrant, because I believe that none of us were ever born illegal. None of us were ever born undocumented. We were all made in the image of God and we all made one fundamental claim made for us by the divine. And it is in scripture it says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. immigrant and knowing immigrants I do know that we take seriously our rights but not only our rights but we take seriously our responsibilities in this nation the reason why we are here is because America was there was in our countries it was because of that impoverishment because of the oppression that was there that forced us to come here and our being here should not be taken lightly. We have come. We work. We love. We live. We eschew the best in the values of this country, the values of justice and of compassion and dignity for all. It is our task, and perhaps more the task of the lawmakers of this nation to think in terms of the values which make for a just society, the values which make for people to live together in harmony irrespective of their race, their color, and their creed. And we are not going anywhere else we are going to make America a great nation. Greater than it is today.
Thank you so much, Aaron Lewis Chase. And right now, my dear friends, to give us a story, let's welcome to give a reflection on the struggle. A Buddhist mom, Yev Young Kim, let's welcome. Good evening, my name is Hebon Kim. I'm a chair at the United States West Coast One Buddhist Temple. I'm also an immigrant from Korea to serve the American Buddhists. Kudado Today, many people migrate to other countries for better lives and opportunities. Also, many people migrate to America because many people believe that America is a country that is built by immigrant, family value, and hardworking ethic. other people's skin of color and immigration status. And American value respect hardworking people's effort and their love for families. That's why we are in America. This is why we many people coming to America. In America, we are learned that to build a humane society, we need to try to live in harmony regardless of one's gender, age, and immigration status. In America, we are learned that everybody is born equal. Also, we need to help others who are in need and who need a support. When we overcome one's difference, and support, support one another, we can make a better society and we can build a better world.
법을 제정하여 부족한 사람들은 더 많이 배우고 기능을 습득하여 개인과 국가의 발전을 위하여 함께 전심전력으로 노력할 수 있는 사회가 되기를 진심으로 기도합니다. 감사합니다. I truly pray to live in a society where the one who has more than others is committed to share. I truly pray to live in a society where the one who has learned more is committed to teach others. I truly pray to live in a society where everyone's open his or her mind and respect each other's differences. I also pray to have a just law so we can embrace others who do not have much. Thank you. Mi nombre es Blanca Pérez, miembro del local 1877. Mi padre nos trajo a este país cuando éramos muy pequeñas para un futuro mejor. Al cruzar la frontera, dos de mis hermanas iban a morir por falta de oxígeno, porque ellas venían en una pipa de agua. Gracias a Dios lograron sobrevivir. Así como mi familia vivió este momento, Hoy, actualmente, mucho... ¡Una legalización! ¿Por qué? Porque pagamos taxes aquí en este país. Queremos un futuro para nuestras familias y para nuestros hijos. Gracias. My name is Michael Browning. I'm the principal of St. Anne's School in Santa Monica. Nineteen years ago, I came to this country as an illegal immigrant from Scotland. Two weeks ago, this image was on the front page of the tidings with the caption, Is this the face of an illegal? And this is the face of an illegal. I, I chose to do that article and speak today because we need to change these ideas, these misconceptions that people have about immigrants. The news media ran a story about a tragic drunk driver killing a girl in San Bernardino, but they chose to lead with undocument, undocumented immigrant drunk driver kills a child in San Bernardino. That's when I decided to step up, because for every case of this, I'll show you a hundred thousand, no, a million people who get up every day, who feed their kids, who pay their taxes, and who contribute to our society. Dear companions in struggle, on behalf of the Muslim community, let me first offer you Universal greeting of peace, Assalamu Alaikum. We are America. The nation of immigrants seeking a better life for ourselves and for our children. We are all God's creation. United for a just immigration reform. I was asked to tell you my story. I'm going to keep it brief. I come from a long line of immigrants. My great-grandparents 
migrated from Uzbekistan to India. When I was four, my family migrated, actually flee from India to Pakistan. And I came here at the age of 24, fleeing from the military junta. In a short time I was here, I became stateless. I found a lot of loving people who helped me, made me feel at home. My dear companions, migration is a natural process. Animals, including birds, whales, fish migrate on a regular basis. Human beings throughout the history have migrated from one land to the other for better life, for greener pasture, or to flee from the hostile conditions or invasion. As a matter of fact, as you all know, before the European colonization, there were no strict geopolitical boundaries in the world. If you remember President Reagan telling the Soviet, break down that wall. So that the people from East Germany can, can migrate to the West, where we are. Our lawmakers in the Congress trying to build a 700 miles long wall to break the families, to keep the our neighbors away from us. I want to share with you what God Almighty has told us in Holy Quran. He said, Walillahi mulku samawate wal art. Walillahi mulku samawate wal art. Wallahu ala kulli shayim qadir. Allah says, the God Almighty has spoken the truth and said the earth belongs to God who has all the powers as human beings we all have equal right to it. God Almighty has created us as agents of God and we have to do God's work to take care of the poor, the homeless, the immigrant, everyone on the face of the earth. God says, O oh believers, stand up for justice against all odds. We are truly bound to stand up for the rights of our fellow human beings. And I would say, repeat what my dear brother Steve has said earlier, let my people stay. Representing the Community Coalition in South Los Angeles. We're very happy to be here today. We just want to take a second in the middle of the rally to set the record straight. A lot of the people in the media, the people with the cameras, Worked, and we only got our citizenship about 32 hours about 
humanity. Let's welcome Rabbi Haim Beliak, a survivor from Germany, and Rabbi Daniel Melman, parts of Progressive Jewish Alliance. Shalom, brothers and sisters. I came to this country as a young child, and the picture I want for you to hold of what it means to be an immigrant is the picture of my father coming down the gangplank as he carried me. I was about two years old. The picture that I have in my mind is of the pride that my father felt, the sense of hope that he had as he came onto these shores, the sense that his life would be different, and especially my life. Every one of us is an immigrant. Every one of us has come carried by our parents. Every one of us has come with that hope. We are at the moment of the season of liberation, the season of Passover. Arubi Obedavi, my father, says the Bible, was a wandering Aramean. Indeed, we are all wanderers. This is the earth that was given to us, the earth and its fullness. At this time of Passover, it calls for a special sense of Mohin de Gadlut, a special sense of great open consciousness, a consciousness that opens our hearts, that opens our minds, that opens our arms and says to each and every person who comes here, who plays by the rules, who works hard, whose parents have brought them here for a sense of hope. That there is freedom in this land, let us build this land together in hope and freedom. El pueblo judío va a celebrar la Pascua Hebrea. Y cuando se, nos sentamos juntos, hermanos y hermanas de todas las religiones, celebramos el éxodo de Egipto. Fuimos esclavos en Egipto. Fuimos extranjeros en la tierra de los faraones. Pero unidos salimos de Egipto y conseguimos nuestra libertad. Así como nosotros estamos todos unidos en estos Estados Unidos de América, triunfaremos y conseguiremos justicia, igualdad y libertad. Si, si continuamos unidos, triunfaremos. El pueblo hebreo triunfó porque estaba unido. El pueblo unido jamás será vencido. Los deseos de felices pascuas a nuestros hermanos y hermanas cristianas. Feliz Pascua Hebrea, Haxamea. Shalom, Tarrafot, Shalom, Belacarot, Shalom, Lekulam, Shalom. the honor of making an introduction. Por favor. I have the honor of making an introduction. You've heard me say many times that America is a better place because there was a Civil Rights Act, because there was a Civil Rights Movement, because there was a Martin Luther King and a Cesar Chavez. They opened up the country so that Tom Bradley could be mayor of Los Angeles and Antonio Villarregosa could be the mayor of this great city. With me today 
is the leader, the president of the NAACP, the preeminent civil rights organization, the organization that led the way so that this country could be a country where we truly are equal under the law, where we truly can be free. Please help me in welcoming the national president of the NAACP, Bruce Gordon. This morning when I got up here in Los Angeles, I read the newspaper. And the newspaper said that African Americans are not supporting immigration. And that is not true. We cannot allow, we cannot allow forces in this city or forces in this country to divide us. We are all people of color. We are all people who are black and we are brown and we should be united for one cause and that is for liberty and justice for all people. Somos el problema. Somos parte de la solución. The NAACP has a resolution that we are passing, and that resolution supports immigration. It supports what is being moved to the Senate of the United States. And we must, as a people, together fight for the right laws in this country so that there will be for all people liberty, justice, work, jobs, safety, health care, good wages, all the good things that all Americans want. We should fight for them together, black and brown together.
Sen ki şey gelir. 